So next up, we have a 64 years old male, diabetic hypertensive, having effort angina, CCS class 2 with normal LV. CAG shows LAD osteal 90% lesion, another lesion uh, in the mid LAD 90%. Our plan is to stand the LAD with provisional bifurcation using I OCT guidance. I would like to request our moderators to come up into the stage. Please, moderators. Dr. Dr. Akasa, yes, please. Dr. Gilchrist. Dr. Anand Shukla, Dr. Ajay Mahajan, Dr. Hasid Joshi and Dr. Kamal Sharma. Hello. Hello, Fuz Dr. Tejesh Patel. Yeah, sir. Fazila, how are you? We are good, thank you, good. sir. Good. So this is the case which is actually left main bifurcation, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, I want uh, you guys to see, again, a snuff box. Uh, there is something special. You know, this snuff box was punctured yesterday for angiogram, and here it has been punctured again. Can you uh, show here? Yeah, this is punctured again. Uh, Sanjay has done the puncture, and uh, six to seven slender, uh, slender sheath. Uh, and we are taking XB LED 7 French guide and again a combo technique. Excuse me, uh, Dr. Hegre's bag has been misplaced at the back, so if anyone has found it, if you could please return it. Hmm. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I request uh, any of them to check the front zip of the bag because all the bag looks alike. I have misplaced my bag there, so I have got my wallet and my home key also in it and my ID. So, if the front zip, uh, if there is anything so that I can get, I can't ask, so I can request all of you to check See, your bag's I mean? uh, front zip. Okay. So, yeah, we will put two wires definitely in. Okay, this one in LED, one in circ. We will dilate the lesion, we will deploy a small diameter stent in the LED and then another stent across the left main, you know, across circumflex in the, up to the left main and then if at all the circ pinches, we will do, uh, you know, uh, uh, we will recross and do something and then we will evaluate with OCT. Yeah, record. Any suggestion on this? It's a... It's l almost a left main lesion, basically. Yeah. 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 Why not a two stent strategy from initially? Yeah. Because Sir uh, Costume is uh, looking. Uh, yeah, we will see, Ajay. We will see. Let us let us see. And you know there is a lot of ectasia there. You go to epicranial. There is a distal lesion which we will evaluate properly, and then. Sir, are you, uh, Kamal here, Sir, uh, are Kamal. you planning to image beforehand or? Uh, no, 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 no imaging before. Okay. Go to AP Caudal now. Give me one wire which is. Raj, we don't hear you. OCT beforehand that's because right. you will be occlusive. That's no right. contrast, you won't that's be able right. to see. So uh, that's uh, one of the disadvantages of OCT. And run through an extra floppy, that's two wires. I always like to be uh, simple. Think about doing uh, provisional like stent, one yeah. stent. Like, like off the yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. And this ectasia, you know, the big size big. is almost like left main. So that yeah. makes my life a little bit easy. In any case, there will be a stent even distally. This is? Power turn. Power turn will go to Sir? circumflex. Sir. So how many of the audience think that uh, this will be a single stent strategy? Obviously, so quite a few of us think that this is going to be a simple single stent strategy. It doesn't look, that, Sir doesn't look that bad, does it? That and is what I feel, Fazila. Yeah, that's what most of the audience also feels along with you, that probably 
touch wood, this is going but to be… But you have to keep a wire if something goes wrong. So that's a very to. important learning tool that we need to remember. With the left main and with a big circumflex, we will always put a wire Another in the circumflex, wire. even though it looks pretty much clear. Regarding ectasia, you know, I have a question for you, Rajiv and Samir. Like, in this type of ectatic lesion, you know, if you have to deploy stand in the ectasia, up to what atmospheric pressure you will inflate? So, I think, you know, it, there is some old literature, you know, an abstract by Marty Leon, actually, where he showed that if hey. you go across the ectasia from a non-ectatic to non-ectatic lesion, I mean segment, and don't dial it to the diameter of the ectasia, it's better. If you land your stent in the ectatic area, it actually is more prone to create thrombotic uh, complications. Epicranial? Epicranial. The other thing with ectasia is that we, uh, we mustn't uh, forget the plaque volume is going to be huge here. And so, you know, if this was an acute situation, you'd be more concerned about the risk of dislambization. I mean, Ivis tells us that in ectatic regions, the plaque volume is massively, massively uh, higher than, uh, than in non-ectatic regions. Anyone have an experience with the stenties uh, stent? Because they promote stenties mm -hmm. for both left main as well as for ectatic vessels where there's a mismatch between sizes. So do you have any experience with the stenties uh, self-expanding stent, Dr. Tejesh Patel? No, 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 no. In coronary in my life, I have never deployed any self-expanding stent, yeah. even in bypass graft. Actually, you know, Boston Scientific used to make a self-expanding bare metal stent many, many years ago. And uh, we thought it would fit well in a tapering LED, but it actually never worked out any better than balloon expandable stent. In John Fazade and John Marco's courses, old courses, you know, uh, uh, you, at that point of time, I have seen them deploying, uh, you know, uh, wall stents, right. uh, self-expanding in bypass grafts. Outcomes were very miserable, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, because theoretically that was the idea. A self-expanding stent is good for an aneurysmal or a saphenous vein graft, but we need studies to really prove that. Yeah, I think you know. The biggest problem is these big bags of lumen are very prone to have stasis and thrombus. But we are, I mean. Uh, uh, not worried about the peripheral arteries, even if it is partially expanded. These that is true, yeah, they are very but good. They are big arteries. Yeah, they are big arteries. They have high flow. So, talking about this type, ta type of aneurysmal dilatation, what is your yeah. mode of DAPT, Samir? What kind of DAPT do you choose for this kind of uh, vessel? 2.5. So, I would stand across this an aneurysmal area. And then it will be standard DAPT for the given clinical cir circumstance. So if it's a stable patient, then six months. And if it's ACS, then 12 months. Yeah, I usually go completely across it and not have the stent edge land in the ectasia. And that comes, again, as far as data, there is very scant data. But anecdotally, it's uh, worked out better. And again, even though it's not good to quote anecdotes, but uh, we've had trouble with landing the stent inside the ectasia and then trying to make it up to size. And these vessels are rupture prone also, They're right? Very, yeah, the walls are unreliable. So th you know, with the imaging now, we can sometimes tell, but still, it's not a friendly situation. So if you stand across it and, and ignore the ectasia, then you basically do okay. And if you bring them back, the ectatic segment becomes organized. So what are you going to use as your reference diameter? Uh, distal to the ectasia where you have a relatively normal segment. Except there's lots Look of branches it. off before that. True. Six. So again, you know, I think there are one or two spots here where there is some linearity to the lumen. But here ah. you could use the left main as your reference you lumen, I, I would guess. And you could, I mean, an alternate strategy would be use your left main as the, uh, yeah, your yeah. reference value and then end in the neck of the aneurysm matching oh, yeah. to the left main. I guess that's, that's what uh, some people would do. I, I like this uh, concept of standing okay, across fine. it. It, it, it seems, to be, uh, seems to have some logic to it. Because you've got to accept we'll never touch the stent on the walls of that ectatic segment. That's just not going to happen. Yeah. Oh.
Surprisingly, I mean, it's, it's one of the old Marty Leon abstracts, Ian, that I was able to dig up when I had a problem with these ectatic segment okay, stenting many years ago. Go, go. Quickly, there is hold up. It will go now. Record. Hopefully, hold up should go. clearing up nicely. Yeah. Yes. Now you'll have good flow. Yes. Perfect. So little longish type of stand to cover that baby lesion also. Yeah, I think I would come from there yeah. all the way to the main. What do you say? That's right. So yeah. we take a 2.5. It's okay. We take a 2.5. I age cover but just show that view. Last. Ah, so kare. Hard. Two point five. Last view. Yes. Freeze. About the diagonal, right? Twenty eight. I think. Yeah, because we don't want to land. Yeah. We don't want to land in the ectasia, right? Uh, we will avoid landing yeah. in ectasia. Twenty-eight. Uh, Two point five. Two point five. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me Zion's expedition. Dr. Akasaka, what is your experience mm -hmm. with uh, this kind of ectatic vessels? I privately uh, did not have an enough experience such this kind of ectasia, yeah. right? But uh, okay. there are two options, uh, the crossover and the, yeah, the separate retreat, uh, the distal and the, the proximal, right? But because uh, the, there are some risk of uh, uh, thromboembolism uh, in, at the site of the ectasia if we cannot get an enough opposition, right? Absolutely. So two point five by twenty eight yes. expedition, yes. How is the new Zions that is Sierra? Sierra, Sierra. yeah, it's a good stand. I mean, I personally don't feel as much of a difference and maybe I'm not perceptive enough, but it feels the same. It's How like you, Zions Rajiv? Alpine? No, Sierra. The Sierra. Uh, Sierra is like Zions Alpine? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. No big difference, uh, at least on, from our end. Inject? Okay, I think we have covered mm. the second lesion. Yes. Okay. Joe, sir. Okay. Yeah. I okay. think I think fine. we are fine. Yeah. Go 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 quickly. Yes. Twelve. Okay. Okay. Come deflate. You want a high pressure dilatation? Aya, pacha, aya. No, not required. Length to you. Chal. Okay. Apatu proximal part of ectasia. Aro caudal mojhe. Ah, AP caudal, Aro caudal. Yeah. I think we are going up to left main. And should we spare some space in between or not? No, I would link them up, please. I would link from one end to. I mean, one stand to the. Size. This At is the 28, right? 28 is okay. We cover ectasia, why not? Yeah, yeah. you can just go bridging right through it. Okay. Sanjay has a different view. He wants us to stand only this region. 4 by 28, right? Or 4 by 33, then we can cover everything. No, not no. even no, no, And how no, much no. gap would you be leaving? But that is uh, five, six, 38 at level, whatever. But 38 will be a problem because distal artery is very small and maybe at 6 atmosphere or 7 and then. Okay. 
फोर बाय थर्टी एट एक्सपीडिशन पकड़ दो ओके सो इफ डॉक्टर पटेल मामा से मामा से इफ यू गोइंग टू ओवरलैप योर फोर ओ स्टेंट विद द टू फाइव स्टेंट हाउ यू गोइंग टू बलून द ओवरलैप बिकॉज़ द टू फाइव स्टेंट विल नेवर गो अप टू अ फोर ओ डायमीटर बट आई टेल यू या दैट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन यू नो दैट इज अ ओल्ड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बलूनोमिक्स यू नो वी विल इन्फ्लेट इट ओनली एट 6 और 7 एटमॉस्फेयर अप टू नॉमिनल प्रेशर यू नो द द द द बलून टेक्स द साइज ऑफ द आर्टरी so i personally feel that that should not be a problem that was a very old fire salt digging balloonomics <laughs> the balloon confirms to the artery size up to 6 or 8 uh, 6 atmosphere and you will be doing imaging after the procedure of so course maybe we'll yes. get an idea about how well the stents yeah we are going to do oct oct What about uh, putting a vasodilator down there to uh, help with any thrombus that comes loose? Yeah. Keep yeah. the microcirculation open. This is also a little small, or this looks good. This looks good. Perfect. This yeah, right. looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Go, go. Six. So little bit back. Little But bit back. Tata Patel. Yes. Usually, I like to. Put the stand back a little bit to the left main uh. to do a optimization. Leave about six to eight yeah. millimeter. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, is that okay? Go six, six. Oh, it has become big there. Come deflate. No, but it is not inflated in that part. Ah, but the pachi pachule in kariye. Ah, said me. It has become too big. Come down. Oh. Good, yeah, he's maintaining good pressure. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, go. I am expecting some problem at the junction. <laughs> mm, I think so. Ten, twelve. Twelve. Okay, I think but, uh, good. Come deflate. He's maintaining good blood pressure, like a protected left main. It's okay. Ah, pray God, I don't want to see a very bad area there. Wow. No, it doesn't look bad. Go to AP cranial. And Sark is good. Sark stayed amazingly good. Yeah, yeah. That is what I thought. Yeah. Look here, it Looks it like expanded only in the ectasia. Yeah. Yeah. Inadvertently, I think. Uh, what do you think, the panel? Looks good. Uh, it looks like there might be some little indents on the uh, inner. That's right. Curve. That we will. That uh, at the left main bifurcation, you say. That that we will fix with a, uh, you know, bigger. Uh, I mean, balloon, a short, four millimeter non-compliant balloon at a high pressure, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Give me four by ten or fifteen uh, non-compliant. Uh, uh, Maybe quantum maverick or quantum apex. So just, would you rewire into the circumflex here, or you leave the leave the uh, wire as it is? Uh, okay. Pardon? Would, would you rewire the circumflex now, or would you leave that wire? No, where no, it is? no. I will assess with OCT, and with this circ, I really don't feel, you know, to do anything at the origin. Four and uh, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, allow now, uh, now uh, give me 4 by 15 NC track if quantum maverick is not available. I, I, you know, I am really curious to see that area in OCT. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure it, it should be fine. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. It should be fine. I'm e even more curious to see it in six months' time, uh, just discussing here with Samir as to what the uh, uh, likelihood is of that ectasia thrombosing That's right. off. That's right. Do you, you want to comment, Sam? And yeah, there are no big side branches that come out of the ectasia, so it should okay. organize okay. up. It should thrombose and then fibrose around yeah. the stent. Okay, go. Six, eight, ten. ten. So we just wanted to know, in this case, Different. would you consider putting this patient on an anticoagulant as well? No, 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 no. Not needed because Timmy grade 3 flow will be Ex there. Exactly. No, and uh, Ectasia is buried behind the stent. Yeah, I think it, it should be fine. It's a big lumen. It's even outside the Ectasia, it's a big, nice mm. lumen. Deflate. And we do want the ectasia to clot off outside the stent. <laughs> Fifteen. Tej, have you any experience of uh, um, treating uh, uh, of coiling uh, behind stents? Uh, no, no, no. Not really. And you? Uh, we've done a couple, but uh, um, not high volumes. Sam, have you got? No, never okay, yet. fine. And what was your long-term result, Rajiv? Uh, all I can say is no clinical bad events have occurred, but we did not have angiographic follow-up. I mean, the neurosurgeons that do it all the time in their world for treating their aneurysmal segments of uh, you know, stent covering and, and coiling. And it, maybe it's an opportunity for us to evaluate uh, in the coronary world in future. In this situation, it would be very tricky, right? I, I agree. This is not really aneurysmal. This is uh, ectasia. Mm, it's right. more of a theoretical discussion of, you know, we sometimes see this okay. uh, much bigger segment. Go that's a fantastic Let result. Balloon out. And uh, we will uh, now put OCT in. And we'll take some more views to see the circumflex ostium. Four millimeters, yeah. Allow, allow. Okay. okay. So, in your experience, uh, Tejas, the uh, capability of the OCT to visualize, you know, six millimeters, seven millimeters, you think it's Reasonable? Uh, it's gonna, I mean, well, I think we'll see the least, stand uh, well. At you know, left main, we have seen several times, six millimeter. And we really don't find any difference, you know, if it is a, taken with a proper injection. Why in left main still, you know, there is reservation for yeah. using OCT? I don't know. Of course, left main ostium, no. But body... Ra Raji. <coughs> Raji. Do you have any experience in Sarado 2.5 BID in this kind of patient? Oh, no, we don't. Do you, uh, do you tack? That's an interesting idea. No, I don't. That's why I asked you. I thought you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my wife that. <laughs> in China? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Properly. Mm -hmm. Do you think nice. there's uh, any use for covered stents? Pardon? What about using a covered stent? Uh, uh, covered stent is restenosis and stent thrombosis and all those problems. Go to epicranial. Now in the US, we don't have the papyrus stent yet. Uh, papyrus it's com is it's very coming good. in April. Uh, your experience is good with that? Yeah. yeah. It's very good. Okay. Okay. Yes, fine. Okay. Just check it, inject and see. Okay, okay, that's perfect. I think we are going to have a great picture.
सेंट्रल ल्यूमेन फ्लश करो रेडी या जस्ट टेल टेल ओके ऑल राइट लेट अस सी हियर Can you guys see the OCT? Your yeah, end? Uh, the Professor Akasaka, you can give your comment sitting there. Uh, yes, it's an distal to the uh, stent, and uh, here is an uh, distal portion. The position is very good. Perfect. No, 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 mm. no dissection. It's good. Right here is a branch, and then here yeah, position is very good. There are very uh, concentric problems, but here. Also, the very concentric plug, some tissue prolapse. Tissue it's prolapse. A, yeah. Diagonal, There's some under expansion. Diagonal, right. So, yeah, here is a gap, right? Some gap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two stands. In between two stands. Between two stands, yeah. yes. Uh, right. Oh. Okay. Where is this? Place. This is distal part of aneurysm. Here is uh, uh, the, the we should take that balloon and dilate the, it. Here is a diagonal, right, and uh, 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 proximal stand, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So, so proximal stand is uh, part of it is in the ectasia. Right. right. That's why. Right. Yeah. So I think I will take that four millimeter balloon and just inflate it gently in that region and. Yeah. So, so there's a gap between the two stents. This is now the proximal stent, I think. Is that right, Dr. Akasaka? Yeah, this is. Yeah, this it's is a, the proximal stent. This is the proximal stent. Yeah, it's a proximal stent. Okay. Because yeah. okay. there was a gap. Here, here a gap. is a gap. Yeah. It's a uh, uh, diagonal, right? Diagonal branch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the, the, the 11 o'clock, right. So. so, what is the recommendation? Yeah, you, you use the bigger stent, uh, bigger balloon uh, to, to get the. Uh, Good up position. So, could you measure the, the, the diameter? Right. Yeah. Based on the, the OCT, it, we, we think uh, the ectotic portion is uh, a disease, but uh, it looks like normal. I had an experience, similar experience uh, like this. It looks uh, ectotic, but uh, that portion is looks normal, and uh, between the ectotic, it's an uh, stenotic region. So. It looks like normal, right? Almost normal. No disease. So, you want me to leave it like this, or you want me to give four millimeter balloon? Take no, yeah, we cannot see the, the the proximal side because of the contrast. Yes. Yeah. So, m might be the incomplete position might be uh, much longer. We can take second injection yeah. for proximal. Yeah. Right. We can take one injection. Yeah. Uh, just to distal to the, the the diagonal branch. That's right. Yeah, yes. yeah it's good. Yeah. Lelo, uh, lelo. Check first marker of tip of guiding. Okay. Ajo, ajo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just tell. Okay. Yes. Good. Very good. Dr. Anand here, yes, sir. So we can Anand. dilate. Yeah, we can dilate with a semi-complement also because the only we are going for the opposition. That's so right. Same. I side. agree because you know there is no need for, you know. NC. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, still uh, uh, incomplete opposition, right? Yeah. So. How about I agree. Yeah. Semi-complement will have little bit of advantage of expanding it. Slightly right, more. Nom nominal, low pressure. nominal pressure of appropriate diameter of semi-compliant balloon. Will what do you think, Raju? Yeah, well, I'm interested to see the left main apposition. So the left main apposition is normal. Yes. So it's really yes. just the ectasia. I mean, I would question whether we should do anything. Yeah. We, do, you, do you think we will really achieve apposition, even with a you know big balloon? And do you think there's value in that? Uh, we were talking just before about this may just uh, thrombose behind the stent strut, so I, I don't know is the right answer here. Yeah, um, but uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, as well, right? But uh, uh, there are some recommendation, uh, uh, expert uh, consensus document, uh, the opposition more than nearly this is in a 400 micron, and the, the length might be 
nearly one millimeter, right? Yeah. It might be is a, is a cause of uh, uh, some complication based on the consensus document from the ESC group, right? So I would like to recommend to dilate okay. here, right? The same balloon you want? Five, five, not the loot for sir. Five will be high at low pressure. Sir. Okay, regular mm. balloon, mm. but five we don't have, I think. Uh, uh, five, Apollo, why the love? So. Take it out. Mm. So, based on the measurement, four measurement is. Measurement says that four, four, four will suffice. Four might be. Four, already four. Have given. No, but that four way only six was dilated, six yeah, atmospheres. That's, right. that's why it's in complete exposition. So we can go only the four also, the semi compliant four. Yeah. 4 we have 4.5 also, yeah. right? Get 4.5. We can take a 4.5. That's right. And we have to see also circumflex ostium. Ah, that we will see, no problem. By that time, the balloon comes, I think, take LAO caudal view and one more AP caudal to see the circ ostium. I think it looks excellent. I will, I will just not touch it. And as view ma apne mukhya bolna. La, this is a good view even for balloon. 4.5 by 12. 4.5 by 12 NC track. La, chal. Perfect. You have to go till distal, right? Till distal and edge of. It's a little risky thing to do. Low, dusty, dust to the upper, I don't know. Ten, ten atmosphere. How, so how common is ectasia positive remodeling in, in uh, India, uh, Tejas? Because normally we're seeing these very small vessels. Ectasia, we see, uh, we observe, and we, I discussed with Sanjay since last 20 years. There are three different uh, populations where we see a lot of ectasia and sluggish flow. One is the Muslims uh, living in this part. One is the Sindhi community. And the third community is uh, the local Thakkar, Lavana community, where we see this type of ectasia time and again. That's very interesting. Any other observations? Do you think it's genetic or some uh, behavioral? Uh, it looks like genetic. Where is the balloon? Ah, it's Epicranial already there. Majority. Epicranial. In Bangladesh, you know, I've noticed ectasia to be more common Not in diabetics majority. and in people who have a history of substance abuse. In, uh, when there's Pachal, a Pachal. history of substance abuse, they're also okay. commonly, you can it see, looks good. ectasia. Okay. That's also anecdotal. Six. Eight, six, eight, 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 eight. That's it. Okay. That's it. Enough. Okay. Deflate it. And this is the only part we need to dial in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, you think we should uh, uh, evaluate it again? I don't think so. Mm. Dr. Akasaka? Will you li uh, li like us to evaluate or? Uh, no, no, it's okay. You, it's you okay. use the uh, 4.5. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4.5. It should be okay based yeah. on the measurements. That's right. right. So we will take final views. Okay. And then uh, we'll go to the next lab where Samir is ready with the case. Fine. Okay. out I think I am happy with the result I think it's a fantastic result from our end uh, what does okay. the panel say great result and a very thrombus. interesting case ah, is, is there thrombus in the hostile region uh, go to AP caudal proper AP caudal proper AP caudal uh, in that case, I will give uh, a F6 map 
inside the coronary? Uh, no. No. Maybe. No. Huh? OCT? We have removed the wire, but I can go in. Yes, I think uh, OCT will make this clear. Yes, give me that one of the wires run through. It could be just run a through. flow phenomenon, I but it might so. be ACT nice. of this patient, the ACT. A ACT we are doing at the end of the procedure because it is only, yeah, but we will get it done little okay. early. No, ACT is right. Tissue prolapse, it will, it will be cleared once we do an OCT. It could be just it's a here. flow phenomenon that we yes. see sometimes. <coughs> was a panel thing. Can we wire. give some nitro and then... Uh, I will quickly wire Fazila and yes. uh, then we will give, no problem. Yes. Another thing, like whenever we are pushing our stand, you know, wire inside the stand, to avoid going through the strand strut, what Sanjay does, just see, I mean, it can be useful for the young guys. He is completely making it like pigtail. pigtail. Umbrella. He, yeah, yeah, it is almost a pigtail tip. Okay. So we need to name this band, uh, Sanjay. <laughs> And see, go. it will straight away, you know, go in. Okay? <laughs> OCT? We want to just evaluate that area, mm -hmm. nothing much. So, okay, I think enough. Okay, enough. Okay, central contemplus. Okay, I'm yeah, ready. one injection and that's it. Okay. Inject. Okay. Now come to AP. I want to see this. Ana Uchulele. Just take it up. Yes. There is some uh, uh, sort of under expansion, but I don't want to go above 4.5. There is tissue prolapse there. Right. There's no thrombus. No thrombus at all. This is what? Yeah, here, 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 is a, yeah. here might be the thrombus. Yeah, oh, this, right. this was a... This wa you think this is thrombus? I think so. The squeezing there. effect? What is this? Oh, no. Not here. I think. At 9 o'clock. Uh, right. Thrombus. It might be very difficult to differentiate thrombus or tissue prolapse, but uh, some irregular... Yeah, Black right. burden was significant. Mm. Yeah. Hmm? Black burden was significant. Black yeah. burden also was quite high. Yeah, right. Only thing I do is, you know, our strategy when we see this is to give one intracoronary epsiximab and that's it. Yeah, yeah. right. We'll do that. We'll remove. Epsiximab, intracoronary. There the is one Indian company, Reliance, which is uh, still producing. In US, is Eli Lilly producing f 6 map or they have stopped? Still producing it. Uh, the, the utilization is of all 2B3As has dropped considerably. But that was a very effective molecule, actually. Out of all GP2B3A, you know, that was the most predictable molecule. Sure. So, so it, 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 yes. Right. 
it, it might be very difficult to differentiate thrombus and tissue prolapse, but uh, compared yeah. with a previous pullback, the shape is a little bit different, so it, That's might, right. be, it might be the thrombus, yeah. I speculate. So can we can we shift to the